Wessico City leaders are trying to crack down on an illegal dumping problem. Channel 5's Taylor Winkle live in the studio to explain what they are doing. Taylor. Today, the City Planning and Code Enforcement Department was busy prepping for the event, and they tell me they used to hold clean sweeps like this one five or six years ago, but they stopped. They only recently brought it back to combat illegal dumping. Take a look at this trash-filled alley. A shopping cart with an old TV, used carpet, and garbage. Just some of the things Benito Gutierrez sees when he looks outside of his yard every day. It's been for years, years, and, and I am very upset right now with the, all the illegal dumping that we have here in the alley. The old part of town. Joe Pedraza uh, is a code area. enforcement officer with West Laco. He says they're trying to come up with a solution for issues like this. That's why they're giving Westlaco residents an opportunity to legally throw away their garbage for free Saturday morning. It's pretty much to combat that the, so we can give the citizens a chance to go dispose of all their stuff. That way to hopefully prevent them from going and dumping it illegally on the side of the road or in an alley somewhere or in some ditch. We've showed you the damage these piles can cause from fuel for fires to flooding. Instead of just leaving it out in the alleyway or heaven forbid you go to down to the drainage in the county area and dump it out there. Uh, that makes it uh, more of a problem because the drainage ditches are there for drainage when it does rain or we, heaven forbid we get a hurricane and then it's going to be clogged up and plugged up with this debris that's there that shouldn't be there to begin with and that's going to be a problem for everybody. Saturday morning volunteers will scour the streets west of Texas Boulevard to Republic Street north from Business 83 to Los Toritos Street. The city is also placing trash collecting bins at Cavazos Park. It's an effort by the city, but Gutierrez is still concerned. It's a continual uh, process of people doing illegal dumping, and I would like very much for the city to help us out. He says without some sort of program to monitor common dump sites, the problem will just repeat itself. Now, the city tells us during the last clean sweep in October, they collected around 12 tons of trash and 800 tires. And they want to remind you that the only item that won't be accepted tomorrow is Freon, and that's usually found in refrigerators. Now, if you missed any of that information, it will be on our website after the newscast. Reporting live in the studio, Taylor Winkle, Channel 5 News at 6. And the city has more plans for their crackdown on illegal dumping. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. While they only plan to hold big clean sweeps like this one twice a year, they tell us once a month they'll place a big yellow trash can in a subdivision for a weekend like this one. People living there will have an opportunity to throw away their junk for free. While they won't publicly announce the subdivisions, the people living in the selected one will receive a flyer to know what weekend it will be.